Yeah, that reaction was top, obviously. Getting two nil down is not so cool. Um, it was not that we were. The first goal was, I would say, kind of unlucky. So, Robbo slips, bam, they go inside, and then it's like two rebounds. We have to watch it back, but that's how I saw it in the first place. Um, and in the end, Martinelli gets a foot on. Or, I think it was Martinelli, because it could have been Robbo as well, you know, get there. Um, that's a 1 0. Yeah, the two nil happened in a situation which we shouldn't have had that often, like not the cross and the ball in, that the ball arrives there and we didn't have a challenge beforehand. So um, for that we had we needed a higher last line. It was a massive, it was a massive subject all the time because um, I understand with the with the threat they are on the wings with Saka and Martinelli speed wise um, that doesn't feel massively comfortable, but we have to do it anyway. And we, we, in the moment when we start getting more compact, then line higher, midfield closer, front three together. And in that moment, it was not as easy anymore. So um, in the moment when we got that, we were better in the game. So in possession, it was OK. It was like a lot of long balls because um, we did maybe not move enough um, in, in decisive areas. It was a slightly different setup. Um, which um, the boys had to adapt to get that, but long balls is not a problem. We can go for second balls, and we had a few good ones where we could um, make more of it. Um, we had chances before the uh, before we scored, so good moments to be honest. Um, didn't use them, but then the goal was obviously the most helpful stuff in football because then before half time it's two one. I think everybody felt it. Um, we can turn this game around and. That's what we actually did performance-wise, result-wise, halfway. So um, the question I had in my mind when I, when I walked in after the game was, how can we not win this game? But we didn't. So it's a point, um, and that's OK. And yeah, it's a, another step in the right direction, I would say. It's like the first time for a long time that we reacted really well on a well, we didn't fall apart, and uh, that could have happened with everything that happened this year already. So it's now, okay, well, 1 0, 2 0, and the next chance is 3 0. Um, and um, it didn't happen. And um, because we, we, we were, uh, yeah, we look better. We look more ready in these moments to, to, to fight back. And that's what we did. In the second half, we should have turned the game completely around um, with the chances we had. Um, and so at least the point is okay. James, yeah, you've seen some brilliant performances from Liverpool in this season. Right? In your mind, do you know how and why they don't always play like that, and how to make them play more like this in the second half? It will be lack consistency and confidence. So that that's these are the two things. And now why you don't have confidence because that you don't have enough positive moments. And if you have them, you you build, don't build on them, or you misunderstand them. That that's in life like it is in football. Exactly the same. So um, if you are not, so we have these ups and downs in games and over the season. So that's something we didn't have ever before since six, seven years. Um, but we have it this year. So and that's something obviously where we where we are where, a situation where we are going through. It's it's not cool. It's not something we wanted. Um, but we go through this. And you don't have, as I said before again, you don't sort it overnight. That's what we learned this year. Obviously, of course, we had when we in a, um, a normal start of the season, and you win not perfect, but not, and then you win seven 0 against Bournemouth, nine 0 against Bournemouth. Uh, how can you not misunderstand that? It's not that the next game we were completely all over the place, but we were expecting to score from pretty much each situation. We didn't, so we didn't build on that with the, with the, with the seven 0 then against United. Slightly similar, but we had the next game was Bournemouth. We could have, yes, we are one 0 down, but we could have scored the equaliser, and um, I think it was a good moment to turn the game around, but we didn't. And then we, it was like we always try to catch up uh, with ourselves pretty much. And um, so, so many things what happened this year, and so we can, there's explanations for each, each, each one, but for in general, it's what I said. We, we, that's what we lack. And today, that's why it's so important. This is not something where we go now home and, and, and don't get our arms down. So it's just uh, we, we, we did what we had to do. We 
helped creating an atmosphere in the stadium and the people were, were outstanding, especially in the second half, it was fantastic. But it was because of the way we played and that, that, that's absolutely cool and um, that's something we, we have to take. And uh, we have now a long week, which is a big difference as well. And I like it, the fact that we have enough time to train, real time to train, real time to recover for a few boys and real time to train, bringing boys back. But Thiago, it's super important that he um, has a few training sessions um, on top of the few we had. Um, Luis Diaz will be back um, in full and normal team training and available for the game. So these things are, are really, really good news. And then we have to go again. This time Leeds, um, we could see a little bit before, like before our game, because we saw when we left the hotel it was 1-1 in Leeds and when we arrived here it was 1-1. When I came back from the toilet and it was 2-1, so and it, um, and <laughs> that's it. And um, so that will be a tough one, but um, we have no excuses. We have to make sure we are ready again and build on that today. I said after the Chelsea game, it was a step in the right direction. It was probably for a lot of people thinking, oh God, what is he talking about? Well, it was a step from different points of view. And today, um, that was another step. So we were part of a spectacular football game because we were good for an hour. Okay, with con but conceding in the first half an hour and then good. And yeah, we should have won the game, but we didn't. Against the team, that team in form, flying, they're tuning up. That can, that can, anything can happen today, and it didn't, because of us. And that's fine. Tom. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see it, and I didn't. I had now obviously time to watch it. I didn't, just because I cannot give wrong answers. So I didn't see it. Um, I heard the pictures speak for themselves, and um, I cannot say more. Didn't see a bit. Of it. And can I ask you about um, Mel? He looked absolutely um, dumbfounded when he, he missed, missed the penalty. Um, I think I, I only saw the penalty now after the game. I, 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 I thought a few people in, in the crowd reacted. So when you don't see the penalty, you react on what the people see. And they, a few people obviously thought the ball was in, but it was he missed the goal. So that's why I had for a second the fist, and then I realized, oh, nobody's really celebrating. And then I realized the ball was not in. That's it. That's something we will talk about, but not here. Dave. No, they don't come to us. If we want to have something, then we have to go to them. Right. And I didn't want anything. Um, there was another penalty right at the end when it looked like Mo was just dragged down. And you didn't seem to get very, very much at all. Actually, really, I think there are some things where we could talk about, but they are not really helpful, and that's why I would prefer not to talk about. But we had our issues with some referees. <laughs> yeah. Math, last question. Yeah, it's not the first time. It was, we did that before, but maybe not. It was not that obvious, but we did that before that we put Trent inside. And today, yeah, in build-up, Trent played uh, uh, more inside, double six. So that's how it is. Was, we need to we need to get used to it. Obviously, it was not. Uh, I would say it's a a big step to do that in a game against Arsenal. Um, it opened up different opportunities for us. So if you watch it back, you will see that we, after we learned to use it. And Hendo was not wide, stayed inside, then we could really pass first pass down to Mo. Mo was had keep, kept the ball really well today, first half already, where we could go from there. So um, I thought he did well. For Now, it was not the first time, but um, not for a while. And that's why I'm fine with how he executed it. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Bye-bye.